More blood will flow if governments insist we are being defeated, says the Afulanese genocides. Hello, my wonderful people. These um, bandits or bokos have sent in more very troubling uh, message to the federal government. And the funniest thing is that the federal government do not bear the bones of the things that are going on. The masses, okay, the common man and woman on the streets, the children, the innocent are the ones going through all these terrible things going on right now in the country. Okay, people, masses are the ones who are being visited upon with all these terrible things happening in the country. And that's why everybody must continue to speak against Buhari's government and his regime wrongdoing. Okay, you know, this administration has been cobersome and covered with a lot of wrong associated with it, which is affecting Nigeria as a whole. Now, these people are saying that and the government should stop saying that there is full any genocide here and there. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Notorious terrorist leader Bello Terju says reports being promoted by the government on the discrimination of terrorist operation in the northwest part of the country will further leads to killings of houses and Fulani people in the country. Terju, who describes such reports as fake and false, said his people remain very strong adding that the decision to take up arms against the government was prompted by injustice inflicted on them by the same Buhari's administration. Buhari do not care for us. He promised to give our people schools, jobs, and give us a place in the land. But none of these promises were fulfilled. He hides himself in Asurok. And so we are doing this to get to him. If he continues to lie to the people, we will reveal to him that we are here. Speaking in an interview with Daily Trust, the terrorist campaign lamented the activities of vigilante group and politicians in fueling crisis in the area, saying such action made him to on purpose to propose a peace deal with an open letter to make people understand what is going on. Speaking in an interview with Daily Trust, the terrorist campaign lamented the activities of vigilante group and politicians in fueling crisis in the area, saying such action made him to propose a peace deal through an open letter. He said, there is a fake news in the media that we are being defeated. I consider the loss of lives why the people are being lied to, that they are being defeated. I pity the lives being wasted, both the Fulanis and Hausa. So I thought we should come together and live in peace and that we should use the insecurity situation for their politics we should not allow that there is politics in it this is why people are being killed if people are to be secured there shouldn't be discrimination in protecting lives of nigerian people unfortunately the security situation is politicalized that is why we say there is politics in it. For instance, even you, journalists, have never reported the genocide being committed against the Fulanese. They are being killed and burnt all over the place. You never have reported it. Of course, it is not possible for one side to always be victorious. That is the only one side that kills without its own being killed, right? What is happening in Nigeria is not a secret. It's nothing new. We have told the government and all the relevant authorities, but nothing is being done. That is why we suspect that the situation is politicalized. Asked on the peace part entered into by his group with the government, Taju said such deal cannot be guaranteed. They lie. Buhari is the first to lie to us. So this is Bu Buhari's own people saying that um, he has lied to them and they don't trust him. Buhari's own people. He said Buhari is lying to Nigerians that, um, you know, the police are lying to Nigerians that they've defeated the Fulanese. Ah, they've defeated them. He said, but the truth of it is that they have not defeated anything. That if he feels for the lives being destroyed. So you feel for the life being destroyed. You know that Buhari's children are far away from everything you are doing, okay? That it is innocent Fulani men and women, houses that are being killed and their lives being destroyed. So why can't you stop it? Why do we go on this thing tangent pretending as if we, what we are doing is right? You are the one saying it now that you feel for the people whose lives are being cut short and whose lives are being treated with disdain and what have you. But what are you doing? 
okay, to avert this situation to ensure it does not happen again. Because the, the things we are doing is not acceptable in any way, form or kind. How we are treating one another is not acceptable. You know, I know, we know that um, the way people, things are happening, you know that the government of Nigeria is doing nothing to protect these people, yet you want to tell the truth. And But you guys are just, you say they are politicalizing it. Are you different from them in any way? Okay, are you different from them? And they say Buhari lies, so they cannot trust the government. They cannot trust Buhari. Okay, now they are telling us that, uh, you know, people's, people's home and everything are being the one destroyed. Yeah, and it's true. But guess what? Aisha Buhari is in, is in the United Arab Emirates. In fact, he had all the governor's wife with him. We had, they were having party. They came to present cake. Cake, Abi, uh -huh, Akara. They came to give him cake. He came to give her cake and a bouquet of flour. Mm, that's what they went to give her in Dubai, rolling with the big guests. Then Buhari himself was in Kenya. From there, now he's gone to the UK, just you know, uh, you know, having that fee, just running around and doing whatever he wants to do. While lives and property are being destroyed, he has also donated one million dollar. In case you are not aware, one million dollar to Afghanistan. Okay, why Nigerian students are at home? You know, even the Bible says a man that cannot take care of his family is worse than an infidel. Okay? It's worse than an infidel. So, I don't understand what is going on. Okay? It's worse than an infidel. So, I don't understand what is going on. So, what exactly are we talking about here? What exactly are we talking about here? Who are we deceiving? We know the truth. We, You know, we know, I know, we know. So, why do we keep lying to ourselves? Why do we keep deceiving one another? As if we are not aware of some of the things that are going on. The truth of the matter is, there is time for everything, and that time is now. Where yeah, we all can, you know, actually come out and begin to speak out against, you know, everything that will not move us forward as a nation. Okay, everything that will not make us move forward and advance as a nation, we have to speak against it. Okay, these are coming out now to say that um, the Fulanese are also being killed and all this are being done. So why do you go against your own people? Why? Why? So this is what is going on, my wonderful people. So let's let's rise up from, you know, all these things going on. Let's make a real change. Let's make a real decision for effective change so that at the end of the day, we can all be happy. Other than that, we will keep merry-go-rounding in the space of despair because we have not allowed for true, you know, true freedom for ourselves because we are looking at somebody saying is the president or the vice president that does not care leave us a comment god bless you have a good day bye for now